Let's take a look at topic 5.1, example 5. We're going to find all the real solutions. The process you're going to use in this, you're still going to use all your properties of equality that you've always used whenever you're solving for a variable. Um, we just kicked it up a little notch because you're going to have some um, higher order exponents to, to uh, solve. So here we go. We have 2x to the fifth equals 64. And again, you're trying to isolate the x. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 2. And you now get x to the fifth equals 32. To undo the, the power of 5, you would take the fifth root. So we will now have x equals the fifth root of 32. There's no plus or minus necessary when you have an odd root. You will have to do it if you have an even root. You will need to do the plus minus. So x equals, well, the fifth root of 32 is 2. And that's it. Here are your triads. Go ahead, jot these down. Pause the video. Once you're done, come on back and let's check your answers. OK, here we go. I'm going to divide out the 5 from both sides. That gets me x cubed equals 64. And again, I'm still trying to get x by itself. So what I'm going to do is I'll take the cube root of both sides. X equals the cube root of 64. And the cube root of 64 is 4. 64 is 4 to the third power. Let's take a look at B. I've got 2p to the fourth. Notice here you have a even power. So when we do reduce that radical, we get rid of that exponent. You will need to do a plus minus. So here we go. We're going to divide out the 2. p to the fourth equals 81. Now I'm going to take the fourth root of both sides. And again, because this is even, we need to do plus minus. P equals plus or minus the fourth root of 81. And that is going to be 3. And that is your final answer.